morning, it's Monday and it's really miserable weather again today, surprise, surprise. So I have been, well, I got dressed into different pyjamas <laughs> because I don't really have to leave the house until this evening and I have been working from the bed office this morning because it's cold and miserable and wet outside. So yeah, I'm gonna do my admin from here because it's way more comfy than a plastic chair, basically. That was a bit of a smash and grab, wasn't it? That smash and grab. Still working from the bed office, but this time I'm gonna have a snack. These I get from Rice Up. They are so good. They do like chocolate ones as well, like dusted with cacao, but like they're so good. They kind of taste like macadamias. They're really creamy um, and crunchy and they taste really, really nice. Toast, spinach, hummus, avo, red cabbage, just raw, uh, olives, franks and salsa. Luna's just disappeared off out. Um, and that's pretty much it today because I'm super boring and predictable and I also super love this. So, um, And I'm gonna have a tomato from the garden, I think, maybe two. So I'm not going to tell you what this is for or specifically what it is because I want it to be a bit of a surprise but uh, I can tell you that it's Wedmin related. Um, it's really hard to see the actual colours. Um, they're definitely not quite as they're showing on the screen on the iPad here but um, yeah I've done this one today and this one and this one and yeah I've got one more to go. We're having peanut noodle pad thai again because it tastes amazing. I definitely just flicked sauce everywhere. Whoops. <laughs> it's Tuesday. It is Tuesday, right? Yep, it's Tuesday. Yeah. Charlie is here. <laughs> and that was she. A hideous angle. <laughs> That's what I'm good at. <laughs> she is printing address labels to pack everybody's orders because we're going to try and get to the post office before lunchtime today. Um, that's because our pal, well my pal, Charlotte's actually never met him before, Dell is coming down from London. Um, he is a photographer and he wants to use our white wooden floors just to do some flat lays um, for a shoot that he's quite loud <laughs> uh, for a shoot that he's been commissioned to do so that'll be nice to see him maybe even have some lunch and then this afternoon yeah just got um some wedmin to do um as you kind of saw little bits of yesterday and then this evening i'm gonna brave it back at the gym and do legs bums and tums because my ankle is feeling so much better today and so i'm just gonna go and then not push it too much and see how how I am. So every time Charlie comes over, she brings this box full of like treats. So I basically call it her tuck shop. Every time she comes, I'm like, ooh, what's in the tuck shop today? I'm gonna show it. <laughs> hey, Alice. <laughs> yes, this is your lunchbox that Charlotte's stolen, <laughs> apparently. It's a nice lunchbox, Alice. Um, but yeah, today we've got raspberries, cherries, cucumber, carrot, and a peanut naked bar. Oh, it's not carrot. Oh, it yeah, was it carrot. Is. Pepper as well. <laughs> like I ate that. Them <laughs> Look at that. Looks great. Normally it's like these fruit. What else did you bring? Oh my god, the little naked bite things. Uh, p passion fruits. Nectarines. Nectarines. It's great. Um, keeps me in snacks. All oh, rice cakes sometimes. Mm. Bananas. But yeah, today is a feast of vegetables and fruits. So, this weekend I got some really good posts as well, which I forgot to show you yesterday. 
Firstly, I got sent the cutest little package um, from my, my wee pal, Rachel. So Rachel is a wedding photographer, um, foremost. She does it with her partner, Tony, and they're super freaking cool. Um, and then secondly, she designs um, patches and pins and totes and gifts and stuff like that, like I do, and sells them on Etsy. So she recently shared a picture of these that she'd bought um, in the accessorized sale um, to add to her like photo booth props collection. And I was like, oh my God, they're so cool. Um, they'd be so good, where are they from? And she was like, oh, they're just from accessorized. They're in the sale, they're super cheap. I'll send you some. Um, so she bought some for me for our wedding, um, so they're going to be super cool, ice cream sunnies for the photo booth. Um, and then she also sent um, two of her brand new patches, which was super sweet of her, and I literally love these. This one reminds me of Reuben, <laughs> squishy little uh, kitty. Um, and this one is just ace. As you all know, I love a motivational phrase or like a positive motto so yeah this is ace and i've just got to think of something to pop it on um but that was really 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 sweet um and she also put a note in um about about the glasses being really expensive so taking care and i just shared a picture of everything on instagram at the weekend and she was worried that <laughs> people would think she was being serious but yeah these are super good and I love my extra patches, and that was really, 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 really kind of you, Rachel, so thank you very, very much. And this cute little postcard that the note was on is just super sweet too. I also got a surprise piece of post from Elle, um, who is uh, Dots and Ink Pots on um, social media, and who has just opened an Etsy shop selling prints of her work, and she sent me this beautiful dot work print of the moon, which is stunning, and it had loads of confetti in it, which was super cute. Um, so yeah, how stunning is that? I asked Elle um, how long it took her, because the whole moon is made up of tiny, tiny, tiny dots, um, and she said it was about 40 hours of work, so that's amazing, and it's really, really pretty. Um, so thank you so much, Elle. And she also included the cutest card in there too, um, which was really sweet, with some really kind words, so. Really appreciate it, Elle. Thank you very, very much. I'll link to Elle's shop and to um, Rachel's shop uh, in the comments below. So blur. <laughs> You're always so tanned in the background. Like, literally, look at Casper. And then, you. oh, I mean, still, still tanned. We've got the bags for the post office. Um, I've run out of the grey mail sacks, so we're going to head to the actual mail depot, pick up some more of those, drop off the mail, um, and I've got a customs fee to pay for a parcel, which is really flippin' irritating because I think it's a t-shirt I bought for myself. Um, uh, so yeah, that ups the price. And then I've got to drop some documents off to the accountant because I don't know if I said in the last vlog, or the one before, I don't think I did. Um, Oh no, Ratio is now a limited company, which I am a director of. So that is a massive, exciting bit of news. But yeah, I've had to sign some paperwork for that. And uh, yeah, that's it. And Dell's got to be picked up from the train station at 12. So got to get a jog on because as usual, I'm running late. Picked up this because there was a stupid customs charge on it. Oh my God, I'm so excited. Even though I paid practically the same price as this. For the customs. <laughs> Yay. New t-shirt. How cute's that? <laughs> I love it. Look how white I am compared to you as well. Like what even is this? It's the tan. <laughs> it's the mad tan. Oh I'm so Casper. So Charlie is here as well. <laughs> like the child in the back. <laughs> and we are going to town because we're starving Marvins. Dell's done his photos. I've applied for a business bank account, which was the most stressful thing in the whole history of the universe. And Charlie has done loads of social media tweeting and other stuff for me, which is ace. So we're gonna have Franco Manka and everything will be good in the world again. <laughs> <laughs> oh thanks! I couldn't wait for a plate so I've already eaten my pizza off my salad because I'm classy like that. We're back from Franco Manca. Woo! And now 
we're gonna dual edit vlog footage. No, we're gonna actually set up a Dropbox account, I think, so that I can upload my vlog footage to the kind of Dropbox server so that Charlotte can access and edit it from home rather than having to be here because at the moment the files take up quite a lot of space because video footage takes up tons of room while Mo's kicking his kicker on the floor. Kill it! Kill it! <laughs> Kill it! <laughs> um, and yeah, they take up a lot of space but I have them on an external um, wireless hard drive that I access. But yeah, Charlotte obviously can't do any editing or anything like that when we are not together. So hopefully Dropbox will be the answer to our uh, dilemma currently. So that's what we're going to do now. So, we now have Google Drive. All of the vlog footage is on there. And Charlotte is using Premiere Pro to edit or start editing um, what I filmed yesterday, basically. Which is really good. Hopefully it'll make things easier for us. It is 25 past 5. Yeah. Just gone. And Charlie is just finishing the bits she needs to do before she heads off. But I have to go to the gym. I'm going to do legs, bums and tums. I think I'm going to modify some of the stuff because we do quite a lot of like single leg burpees and hopping and single leg squats and stuff like that. And I think that might be too much on my ankle. I feel like maybe the entire class is probably too much on my ankle the more I think about it. Because like... There's circuits, it's like box jumps and stuff like that. I'm gonna see how it goes. Kate's here. We are eating pistachios. I just got back from the gym. She brought the most amazing selection of, I don't know if you can see how shiny that is, sparkly and shiny tissue papers, which I've already covered in pieces of pistachio. Um, and we're gonna go upstairs and see what stuff that I've got basically, because we're gonna do some wedding crafts. Oh, yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Half past 11 nearly. Wow. It is late. 23, 23. It's 23, 23 and we have done, what have we done? We've done moon. Moon. Sliver of a moon. Stars. And moon. Biggie moon. Um, and they're gonna be props for the photo booth at the wedding. And we've just been making this like sun slash thing to put your face through that is part of the star and it looks really cool. So we're debating what colours to poo that. To poo that? <laughs> to do that. It's very late. To do that now. And uh, we've just been awoken. Not awoken. Oh my god, I can't even speak. It's past my bedtime, guys. Yeah, Luna's basically just paused our um, activities because she was screaming in the back garden with another cat. Half past midnight. How did that even happen? Kate has literally just left um, because she is flipping amazing and a very dedicated wedding decoration helper. So that's amazing and I am so tired. So camera's dying as well. I'm gonna put it on charge and go to sleep. I'll see you in the morning. Morning, it's Wednesday, it is eight o'clock and I have just had some exciting post. Uh, so I'm going to show you what it is. That I had to pay this eye-watering amount of customs for, which made me want to cry. But hey, hopefully it's as beautiful as I hope it is. I can't wait to open it. Oh my goodness. Oh, it is so stunning. These colours are so beaut. Wow, it's like... A weaving basically all of this is hand woven and then she weaves these amazing tactile ooh, pinky oblongs into it I love it we basically treated ourselves to this as um, a little like wedding gift to ourselves um, because we don't have many like pieces of really nice art um, that aren't just prints like original things and I saw Ali post this um, and I absolutely loved it, so we went, did a bit of a naughty and uh, bought it. Squish Face Appreciation Club team, Momo, do you like it? Do 
You like it? Look! It's got squishy cats and dogs on it like you! Well, I don't think he cares as much as I do. I love it! Ha <laughs> I also wanted to mention today that it is the seven year anniversary that um, my partner at the time, Pete, passed away um, from a non-Hodgkin's lymphoma, um, which was a real shock and he was so young and I miss him a lot, um, but every year on this day I kind of take a moment to remember him and to listen to Mumford & Sons song Tim Shull because that was the song that they played when they took his um, coffin out of the church after his funeral and it holds real significance for me with the lyrics um, and obviously everything else that's associated with it. So um, on the five year anniversary of his death um, I had a tattoo. I don't know if any of you have seen it, I don't really often like share it on social media but I guess it's in some of my like progress pictures on my fitness Instagram account um, but I'll show you. It's, I don't know if you can see it, oh, what's it? it's probably <laughs> crushed my, my sports bra, but um, it's a line from that um, Mumford and Sons song, and it says, you are not alone in this, and I just thought having it on my side here, beneath my heart, was just a nice little nod to Pete, really, and a nice way of remembering him, and just the phrase, you're not alone in this, is just kind of a nice reminder, I think, for, I don't know, any times in life where you are going through a rough period and sometimes it feels like everything is conspiring against you and it's just nice to remember that you're never alone, really. You've always got people who love you and care for you and, you know, are there for you. So, yeah, I don't know whether they're here with you or whether they're <laughs> up there. Anyway, that was all. <laughs> Now I'm going to go to Sainsbury's and pick up some bits for lunch because it's gone two o'clock and I've just been sat at my computer all day and I haven't had anything to eat and I'm really hungry now. Uh, but yeah, I've been working on Webmin stuff so I would show you it because it's really cool and I've been designing it all on the iPad but I, it's something I don't want to spoil. But I'll show you after the wedding, I promise. <laughs> Having <laughs> the beigest or creamiest snack ever, um, I scoffed the entire pack of corn sausages as my lunch because I was so busy today and I've got boxing in a couple of hours so I figured I'd have a little something to eat because I normally have dinner afterwards. So I've got proper corn, um, peanut and almond butter popcorn, a banana and some unsalted roasted pistachios. Yum! So I've spent this afternoon trying to unify QuickBooks with Shopify and PayPal and obviously they don't want to talk to each other and there appears to be some weird bug that others have discovered online from doing a bit of googling and um, chatting to some other Shopify users so it's really irritating <laughs> and uh, now I am in the queue for Shopify live chat to try and sort it out because they are open 24-7 which is great but also I'm number 79 in the queue. Um, I was number 90 something. I was number 90 something, so it is going down, but really slowly. I just want to get sorted because I just want accounting to be easy. Um, and QuickBooks was supposed to make it easy. And it didn't. Super nice salad, padron peppers that we got in our Riverford box. They're kind of like green peppers. And then like one in 10 is like super spicy. Um, so it's like a bit of like a chilli roulette um, with those guys and then falafels with hummus props. Yum! Morning, it is Thursday already. I am just about to um, see if there's any toms left on the tomato plants over there that I can kind of see. There's a few that are ready to go and a few left. Um, and then I need to water everybody because they're all looking a bit sad. Then I've got loads of work to do. Um, Jack's working from home today because um, we also have to move everything out of the master bedroom because the floors are being sanded um, and sealed tomorrow, which is really, really exciting. But yeah, it means disassembling our super king bed. 
and finding somewhere to put it for a day and yeah taking all of our stuff out of our bedroom which will be really fun but I will mean a nice completed bedroom which will be great and then mum and auntie Hilda coming over with Charlotte as well this afternoon might go for some lunch or pop into town if I have the time and this evening I have step and tone which is a week on after I sprained my ankle in the same class um, so I think I'm not going to do it because I don't think my ankle could hack it but I might go to the gym and just do a weights based workout anyway just harvested um, some more toms from the garden there's only a few left now so um, I keep forgetting to get them when they're just a little bit less ripe than that but they still taste amazing and some tiny alpine strawberries these taste so good and they just keep producing more <laughs> It's amazing. Looky! A courgette that's ready. And a Luna that's come to see us. Hi Loon! Are you eating the grass? Hey, it looks like a good one. And he's not been eaten anywhere by slugs. What a win. We <laughs> have to unload everything from there because the floorboards are being done tomorrow, as I said, and they extend into there. So that all needs to be emptied. The rug needs to be moved and it weighs a ton. The bed needs to be disassembled. All of my plants need to move. Basically everything needs to come out of here because, I mean, I'll show you once it's all out, but this part of the floor is all horrible and tarred and this part just needs a bit of TLC. Just been hand lettering this little um, tin I got in Tiger. I got a couple of them uh, to use for our confetti. So that's done. So, mid-bedroom clearing, um, I've been doing that wedding DIY, Jack has been doing the clearing with his wireless headphones on listening to podcasts, because he's great like that, but look at my studio because a lot of stuff's been moved in here already. <laughs> Just got a huge plant, not even in focus, huge plant here, plant here, plant here, shelves, and then the rest of it just looks like a tip and the spare bedroom is pretty full of things too <laughs> another little bit of wedmin i've just done um i'm kind of chipping away at these little signs um <laughs> like little by little basically because i've got quite a few to do and i don't want to leave it all to the last minute um but they take a long time so i've just done this one in the last Half hour, maybe an hour. Um, and now we're gonna have some lunch. Looks so good. What have we got? Moroccan spiced falafel bites and salad, basically. Lots of stuff from the garden. Okay, just tomatoes. Tomatoes from the garden. So, uh, Hild and Mum and Charlie are here. <laughs> Cameo appearance, oh, it's not even focusing on you. <laughs> it's in the background. Um, we've just set Hild up with YouTube, not to create content. She's not going to be uploading to YouTube, are you, Hild? No, I don't know, am I? She could be YouTube's You're next sensation. You're not going to your videos up, are you? <laughs> no. Um, well, she might do, we never know. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, she's already on Instagram. I it's bad enough getting up everyone else for herself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, on Instagram, following Charlotte's two housemates in Manchester. <laughs> Look at that, it just comes straight in. What, my, subs my YouTube channel? Yeah. Yeah. My latest awesome. subscriber. You get to watch yourself on it next week. <laughs> <laughs> They've just been to town um, looking for accessories to go with um, outfits for the wedding. And I'm told that Hild found the perfect, like, cardigan -y jacket? Shrug. Shrug. The perfect shrug. Oh, you? No, Jack. Oh, Jack in the background. Tiny Jack! Jack in the beanstalk. <laughs> Jack in the beanstalk, yeah. Uh, yep, yeah, found the perfect shrug and... For a perfect outfit, for a perfect day, for a perfect woman. <laughs> well, <laughs> I, I did want to say that about myself. Well, you guys. <laughs> the perfect 72 year old. Oh, I thought you meant me! <laughs> I think no. like for the perfect wedding, for the perfect woman. <laughs> no, she was talking about herself. No, she, she was talking, no, the, hello, 
this is the one of words. I thought we were talking about Auntie Linda. I got rid of her name. The one from the shrug. Yeah, the shrug. When you said the shrug. The shrug. Yes, for the perfect Rachel and Jack. Exactly. Yes. There we are, backtracked Same perfectly. <laughs> can we say, you'll <laughs> never see a... Compliments, Rachel. Yeah. <laughs> you will never see another blog like this. No, you will And on that note... It's um... natural, isn't it? <laughs> She needs a YouTube channel, right? <laughs> Definitely needs her own channel. I'm not embarrassing you, am I? No, never, Hild. Right. Never. So we're finally taking out the uh, cable for the security light that was here when we moved in that doesn't work at all. We tried to fix it. So now we're just, it's not connected to anything, don't worry. Cutting the wire. We just had this on our bedroom floor for nearly a year. <laughs> Coming out the window frame. So that's coming off and we've got some filler that we can just fill in the wooden frame so there's not a hole to the outside. So I'll move this beast now and work out what we're going to do tomorrow with this, this old chestnut. It's a badly concreted over old fireplace and we've just got a brick, air brick in here in the middle of our wall. Not really sure how we're gonna tackle that. And then obviously the nice tarred section of floor. No, he's gonna go in there and then we're gonna stamp on him. So we're sleeping in the spare room here tonight. I'm sending Momo first to test it out. <laughs> now, this is how we have to get into bed. <laughs> he's standing with your hands on your hips. <laughs> oh, got to sleep over there. There's our beautiful West Elm rug that Jack's just crunching and standing on. And I'm scared Momo's going to go Where in through here. He's there. And then someone's going to stamp on his head. <laughs> He's, oh, poor Momo is not having a good time. He does not like change. But we're done in here now. Feels like we're moving out and it's really echoey. Look. This can be our before. over the very loud washing machine that is going but dinner is amazing again we are making the what is it peanut quinoa meatballs. peanut thai quinoa meatballs from minimum baker obviously because we're flicking through the book doing a thing where we're like flick and then we'll say stop and then we'll cook the recipe that is on that page and we'll be really spontaneous um every time we pressed press stop every time we stopped it was like what was it like muffins <laughs> or like cheese biscuits cheese because it's a vegan cookbook um what else was it lasagna. oh there was a lasagna and we were just like meh and then we found them all we wanted so that's what we're making and jack's made them in like muffin tins is that because muffins <laughs> today and they look really good tiny tiny peanut quinoa meatballs yummer yummer they look so happy nestled in there because people ask me all the time, um, this is the Minimalist Baker cookbook that we use. On the seat. <laughs> the other side. <laughs> so, we are all in the car. Kate's driving. Kids are in the back. Get a wave. Wave. Feeny and Tom, where are we going? Can you remember? Good night. Oh, what? The fair. The fair. We're going to the big festival. Um, we're only going for the day. Apparently, it's a whole weekend-long festival, but it's organised by Jamie Oliver. And there see, is. Uh, I see some paper. Um, see some my mirror. There are rainbows reflecting on Feeny's mirror on the back of the seat. It's all very exciting, and we think we might even see Rainbow Dash maybe on the My Little Pony bus. That is going to be there. We're hoping, right, Tom? Yeah. Yeah. We're hoping to see Rainbow Dash. And there's all sorts of things to do. There's loads of food. There's all sorts of activities. And it's on a farm. So. Alex I... James's farm. Alex James. Who's Alex James? Should I know. From Fleur. From Fleur. Oh, it's Alex he James's makes farm. Cheese now. <laughs> Alex James off of Blur that now makes cheese. He has a farm. We're going there. But anyway, we're 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 in the Cotswolds now, which is where it is. So we're only. 
how far away, about 25 minutes away, and it's so picturesque. arrived um, the queue was pretty epic four hours epic but luckily as day guests we didn't have to queue thank god for very long so I'm with Tom beanies on Kate's shoulders and we've just spotted the helter skelter and the vintage the top of the ferris wheel yeah so uh, the what tent rainbow tent yeah there's a rainbow tent so yeah take you in with us and I'm really hungry so uh, hopefully the big festival lives up to its name and there is plenty of food to eat. Lots of beef. Got a patty and bun portobello mushroom burger. Looks pretty good. <laughs> Give it a stroke. Yeah. Yeah, see? It's very calm. He was going to get my finger then. He wasn't going to get your finger. He's just looking at you. So funny. I literally think the summer has been hiding in the Cotswolds all this time. I think I've eaten my weight in like, well you saw, cheese and cream based products and also been eaten alive by horse flies so you know, you win some you lose some. Now we just got to find our car in this sea of cars. 